People of the Realm, Game of Thrones Season 7 finale has just aired and we have plenty to talk about. This season is all about a certain name, so needless to say, the night is dark and full of spoilers. If you haven't watched the Season 7 finale, now is your time to turn this video off. In just under a mere two minutes, Jon Snow, everyone's favourite king in the north, has had a slight name change after Bran, the thrice stoned raven, tells us that he can see pretty much everything that's ever happened and he's been keeping this little gem a secret for a while now. Well that's until Samwell Tarly gets the munchies and mistake Bran's door for that of the kitchens. No pies for you Sam. So we see Bran is sitting there, a little bit too close to the fire in my opinion. Well, too close for someone who can't feel his bloody legs. Now I do doubt that this would happen and it would certainly not be allowed if old Nan was still about or if he hadn't ruined the entire life of Hodo. But we digress slightly. So for all Bran's knowing all he's seen, the three-eyed raven almost proudly declares to Sam that Jon is in fact not a snow, but a sand, the name given to bastards over in Dawn. Only just to be gazumped merely seconds later by Samwell's revelation that he has his very own Columbo called Gilly. And that she has not only been able to get past those tricky first grader books, but has now also stumbled upon a secret that 8,000 maesters could not find in the Citadel. And that secret is that Rhaegar had a maester annul his marriage to his first wife Elia, making it invalid and it opens the door for Rhaegar to marry another, making Jon legitimate. Now we all know that if the showrunners weren't rushing this entire bloody series, attempting to tie up every loose end like it's a tick box exercise, that a certain man named Howland Reed may very well have appeared to reveal this secret. Or at least that's what we book readers hope for. Keep the faith, it will happen. But wait, just when you thought the name changes were done, there's more. John isn't in fact called John. And he isn't, in fact, the fan rumour favourite, Jaehaerys. The name he was given by his mother, Lyanna, and her husband, her new husband, Rhaegar Targaryen, is Aegon. Now, to believe he's Aegon Targaryen, I'm not talking about the famous Aegon Targaryen, not the first Targaryen who ruled the Seven Kingdoms from the back of Beleriand the Black Dread. No, 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 no. Not Aegon the Conqueror, that would be stupid. That would be like going in a tiny house and naming both your sons Pete. Whatever floats your boat. Now let's remember that before there was a Rhaegar and Lyanna, there was Elia Martell. You might remember Oberyn screaming her name before his head imploded. Well, in the show, first baby Aegon was killed by the mountain. But this was after Jon. I mean, Fagon however you want to call him, it was after he was actually born. So the question I'm pondering is why use that name? Was Rhaegar going to save money on birthday cards? Was he going to use some hand-me-down clothes and figured it'd be easier if Lyanna didn't have to change the name tags? Joking aside, we know this name choice to be entirely stupid. And the justification will probably lie with Weiss and Benioff, hoping that fans don't actually remember the name of Rhaegar's firstborn child and instead they would compare it to Aegon the uh, Conqueror, who appears to be mentioned as much as hot pie start cakes are in the north. At the time of Jon or Aegon's birth, his father is dead, and as we all know, he was quite the prophecy buff and believed that this child may be the prince that was promised. After all, the dragon must have three heads, and so in his honour, Lyanna gave him this name, Aegon, or Aegon, however you bloody want to pronounce it. To be honest, she was probably half sedated with milk of the poppy, so I can't blame her for forgetting that Elia had named her firstborn son, Aegon also. So now the twice former bastard is no longer a snow nor a sand, 
he's still the king in the north for now, but now he's legitimate, and so is his claim to the Iron Throne, and that claim is stronger than Daenerys' claim. So when you ask yourself who is the true villain of this piece, spare a small thought that the linchpin to this entire thing is a formerly illiterate inbred. I hope that Samwell Tarly checks that scroll for himself, otherwise we're all fucked. The fight is a theory, grow cold for now. So what do you think now that we know this name? And how soon before the West of Restoros will know? Thanks as always for your awesome support. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoy the content, or change your family name to Frey if you don't. I'm the Northlander, and remember, you know nothing, and neither do I.